Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope I'm not too late for you. I know I am late, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm here nevertheless. And I'm glad that uh, you are with me today. Pray that you can hop on, get on. Let's take a look at some scripture today. Who is on with me? Ron Shower. How's it going? Long time no hear from old brother Ron. How are you doing? Bless you, my friend. Uh, today we're going to look at Psalm 58. I've, I've been witnessing to a guy for two hours. That's why I'm so late today. Forgive me, but um, you know, when you're when you're sharing the gospel with someone, that comes first, and it gets it just gets so uh, so crazy that you you can't you can't let go. So anyway, uh, got done doing that uh, not too long ago, and then uh, I I went to the bathroom and took a look at what all my jobs were here coming up today, and I said, I'm going to get on and do a short little devotional with these guys because I know I've let them down. I wasn't on at 9.30, but uh, like I said, yours truly was sharing the good news, the love of Jesus, and uh, it was going very well. Let's take a look at Psalm 58, Psalm 58, 1 to 11. Today, we're going to take a look at just how to reap what you sow, and then how to reap far more than what you sow. Uh, let's take a look at that as God is giving to us this beautiful scripture verse today out of Psalm 58, verses 1 through 11, and we'll dig into it a little bit. I'm not going to be here too long today just because you guys got to go have lunch, and uh, I just wanted to bless you with something good. Listen to this. Do you rulers indeed speak justly? Do you judge people with equity? No. In your heart, you devise injustice. In your hands, meet out violence on the earth. Even from birth, the wicked go astray. From the tomb, they are wayward, spreading lies. Their venom is like venom of a snake, like that of a cobra that has stopped its ears. That will not heed the tune of the charmer, however skillfully the enchanter may be. Break the teeth of their mouth, O God. Lord, tear out their fangs, the fangs of a lion. Let them vanish like water that flows away. Then, 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 they, drew, then they draw the bow and let the arrow fall short. Uh, um, may they be like the slug that melts away as it moves along, like the stillborn child that never sees sun. Before your pots can feel the heat of the thorn, whether they are green or dry, the wicked will be swept away. The righteous will be glad when they are avenged, when they dip their feet in the blood of the wicked, when the people will say, surely the righteous still are awarded. Surely there is a God who judges on earth. Good morning, Pamela. Good morning, Don and Jenny and Sharon Odegaard and Brother Ron. Good to have you guys. I don't have a big crowd today, and I didn't expect it because I was busy sharing the gospel with someone. But anyway, I just want to talk to you a little bit about, about uh, what it means to, to reap and to, to reap even more than what we sow. You know, hundreds of thousands of people, mainly women and children, you've heard about it so many times, they're being sex trafficked. Every year, it's unbelievable. The evil trade, there are millions trapped in this modern day slavery. Almost every day we read about the atrocities that are carried out. They're ruthless. The tyrants, they run evil regimes and they're in it for money. The psalmist speaks out against this kind of injustice. The injustice that meters out wickedness. In verse 1 it says, Is this any way to run a country? Is there an honest politician in the house? He cries out against the rulers who do not speak justly in verse 1, whose heart devises injustice, whose hand meters out violence in verse 2. They are cauldrons of evil, the Bible says, doing deals with the devil 
doing deals with demons, says in verse 2. They speak lies, it says in verse 3. They ignore the cries of those who desire justice, both humans and God himself, for they are like a cobra that has stopped its ears. They will not heed the tune of a charmer, however skillful the enchanter may be. Verses 4 and 5. Do you see the, 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 the unbelievable miscues and skews of the wicked and dying world? God calls his church, he calls real leaders to step up because he knows that leadership is the key to any society. It starts with your local school board and you grow it from there. A leader who sows injustice will reap terrible consequences for their community, for their state, for their nation. They will sow poison and their venom is like the venom of a snake. Verse 4, they create an unstable society and eventually these kind of leaders will be swept away. Verse 9, when this happens, there will be great relief all around when an evil leader is swept away. They reap what they sow. Likewise, the Bible says in verse 11a, the righteous are rewarded. And they reap good things. When we see this principle at work, we say there is a God, verse 11. And often the reaping will happen a lot later than the sowing. But take heart. If you do the right thing, God always blesses. Even if we have to wait until the final judgment, this psalm reminds us that justice will take place. There's no, no doubt about it. You can take it to the bank. Justice will take place. And God's judgment is a good thing. You want God's judgment to happen. It stems from his love and God's values are always the preeminent, most important thing. And we know that God's values are found in God's word. And we can, make, we can be assured that we live in those values when we live in Christ. God values each one of us so much that he cares how we treat one another. Ultimately, injustice will not triumph. Justice will prevail and the righteous will be glad, verse 10. Why? Because the, the, the righteous, the sheep, they long for the right things to happen. They, they long for good people to rise up and, and to do what needs to be done. They, they, they long for, for people to be, to be good and to be decent and to be righteous. This is what God has given you to do. God has given you the, the, the ability to stand up uh, and, and, and to speak out, to go to committees, to go to boards, to go to local boards, to say, I would like to help, I'd like to do something. This is what God is calling us to do. And in that, what do the people see? They see Jesus. Because you stepped out when no one else would. You did what was right. When you waited for someone else to do it. But God was calling you. Today, my question for you would be, are there injustices in your community that need to be dealt with? Are there things that you would like to see fixed? on your local school board or other things. Give it your time. Be salt and light. Vote with the same virtue that Jesus would vote. And start changing our communities from the inside out. Start at our local school board. Get on, other, get on the city council. Run for a, a state office or a, a state representative or a, a, you know, in Bismarck. Do something that you can do. Support someone that you agree with. Get out and help them hand out flyers and share things so that you can be a change agent. May God use you to be the salt and light. To produce fruit where it looks like the fruitless acts have had their way. God is raising up believers to stand firm. 
Father God, bless these dear ones as we go throughout our day. Give us the faith to step out and step into things that we know need fixing. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for joining me, Pamela, Don and Jenny, Mike. Uh, good to see you today, Sharon Odegaard, Ron Schauer. God bless you guys. It was a quick one, but have a good lunch. We'll see you tomorrow.